Assalamu alaikum, peace and blessings be upon you. I hope you have been well. Today I wanted to make a short informative video about the five different categories that actions can fall under in Islam. The first is wajib or fard, which means compulsory. So these are the actions that we must perform as Muslims, like our five daily prayers, uh, giving charity, fasting Ramadan, you know, the basics, the things that no one's going to disagree on that they are obligatory for us to do as Muslims. Then you have mustahab actions, which are preferred or commendable actions. And these are like the sunnah where you pray extra rakas or you pray qiyam al or you fast Mondays and Thursdays like the Prophet did, peace be upon him. So anything, any extra good example that the Prophet set, peace be upon him, but didn't make it fard or obligatory. Then we come to halal or mubah, which is permissible. And I like to think of this category as okay. You know, it's neither, it's pretty neutral. It's neither great nor bad. It's just, it's allowed, right? Uh, next is mahru or discouraged or reprehensible. Uh, so this falls below the, the last category, which is haram, you know, that justice gavel of like absolutely forbidden. We can't disagree. There aren't differing opinions on it. And this has to come from Quranic textual support. We cannot call something haram that we don't have the Quranic textual support for because only God can make something absolutely forbidden, right? And so these are the things that are mentioned like murder, drinking, promiscuity, um, uh, taking interest, stealing, lying, cheating, you know, the major stuff that we can find plenty of textual support within the Quran for. Uh, so mahru, it are the things that come up today like nail polish, like holidays, like um, styles of dress, and what hijab constitutes. All of these things are up for discussion and debate. And the most we can label something that we don't have the textual support for is makhru discouraged because that's safer for you that's keeping god's judgment out of your mouth uh so i just wanted to briefly go over those categories especially for the converts in the community who might be confused as to what these terms are that are being thrown around and to be careful when someone says something is halal or haram they're making it binary or black and white when it's not <laughs> okay most things are are going to fall within this category of mahru or halal. Haram is a very high standard and we should do our utmost to keep that word out of our mouth unless we have the chronic textual support. I hope that cleared them up for you. And as always, I'm wishing you what is better. Assalamu alaikum.